Hello everybody, this is Drew Douglas and for day 9 of WordPress for Designers on blog.themeforest.net and today we are covering the second half of our comments um, discussion and template that we've been setting up that we set up in day 8 and uh, before we go any farther, uh, you've probably noticed the awesome testing WordPress forest wallpaper and this was sent in by a very nice uh, Twitter user named Dennis and I just want to say a uh, big thanks this really gave me a good laugh and uh, I think it's awesome you know first of all and it's also <laughs> included the the rainbow like gradient which uh, which for those of you that have been tuning in know I'm a big fan of the rainbow gradients so uh, thank you Dennis uh, and maybe you know he'll let me uh, release this uh, for you guys to download so everybody else can enjoy it uh, as much as I've enjoyed having it in my background so uh, big thanks for that. So in day eight, we went over how to set up a WordPress comments.php um, file from scratch and how to get our comment showing and our comment form working and our gravatars displaying. So some pretty cool stuff. But with the release of WordPress 2.7, the comment section got um, revamped and it allows us to do a lot of cool things like uh, comment pagination really easily and threading comments um, and nesting comments so you can reply to uh, other users and uh, the WordPress 2.7 doesn't come with this functionality right out of the box the theme has to support it so today we're gonna um, from scratch again uh, revamp our comments.php file and we're gonna do everything we did yesterday except this time we're gonna support threading pagination and a few other um, cool things and I'll show you how to get a theme uh, comment ready for WordPress 2.7 and above so with that said let's uh, open up our browser and Coda and you can see here I was searching Google for how to pronounce that word and I think it's NQ but I don't really know anybody wants to correct me on that go ahead and we'll go over to Coda Whoops. okay and this is where we left off with our our comments.php file and I know you took a long time to write it or maybe you just downloaded it a bit we're gonna take it and gone completely gone it, that hurt a little bit but we can do better now that we have WordPress 2.7 to work with. So I'm just going to walk you guys through the code from scratch again. I'll try to explain my best as I go along and then when the code is complete I will go through each and every step and explain more in depth of uh, what's new in this comments template compared to the old uh, pre 2.7 comments.php file and uh, then we'll check it out and see if it worked and uh, we'll call it a day after that. So let's get started. Uh, first, we're going to do a couple security te security checks like we usually did, um, pretty similar to last time. Open up some PHP tags, and we'll say if not empty server script underscore file name. Oops, and comments.php is equal to base name of server script file name and we'll go ahead and get some curly brackets there and uh, say die which uh, which will quit the loading of our scripts and we'll just say you know, please do not load this page directly we'll do another uh, security type check here except it's going to be a little uh, more simple than it was uh, last time that we did it so we'll do uh, PHP if post password required now we can just use if post password required and we'll escape out of our brackets here we could use a colon as well but just another way to do this you know paragraph tags and we'll just say something like this post is password protected open up PHP again 
close off our bracket. And we actually need to return here. Okay, so there's our two security checks uh, so far. And now we can jump right into the WordPress 2.7 comments loop. So let's do that. And I'll try to comment this code here a little bit so as you, when you download it for yourself you can um, kind of see what we're doing. And, you know, we'll uh, display the comment loop. So we'll say if have posts colon h2 oh, I'm having some trouble typing it's uh, pretty early here so please forgive me we'll do php comments number and now we can uh, pass arguments to the comments number template tag and and uh, depending on how many comments there are we can display different things so let's say uh, be the first to comment for when there aren't any comments. When there's one comment, we'll just say one comment. When there's multiple comments, we'll say percent comments. Simple enough. And we just have that between some H2 tags um, to let people know how many comments so far. And I believe last time we called our ordered list, um, what was it? Ordered list ID of comment section, I think. Yeah just to stay consistent here okay and we'll say PHP and here's where we're going to use a WordPress 2.7 um, template tag here known as WP list um, comments and this is pretty cool it's going to handle all of our comment arguments and everything for us really just inside um, a template tag so we'll say WP lists comments now we're going to pass an array to this template tag. So type array. And then we're going to pass it a few arrays. We're going to declare our avatar size like we did last time, but this is a little more different, obviously, and uh, a little more simple if you ask me. And we'll say avatar underscore size. We'll do 80, comma. And now we're going to say reply text. And this is going to be the text that shows up um, now that we're going to have um, uh, replies and threading enabled so we'll say something like reply to this comment okay simple enough and there is our uh, our comment loop right there and um, like I said the the new thing here is uh, the WP list comments is a new template tag that we can use and also you'll notice that we used if have posts instead of um, the comment um, ver global variable that we used in our previous comments.php section. So, so far we've replaced uh, the comments vari here, variable here excuse me, with have posts and um, we've introduced a new template tag called WP list comments. And we've passed it an array of arguments. Um, one is our avatar size and the next is what our reply text will be since we're now going to enable threading of our comments. Okay, and the next cool thing we're going to do, and we're going to do this in one line, believe it or not, is paginate our comments. So let's say we have a crap ton of comments and we don't want to display them all on uh, one page. You know, want the user to be able to skip over to older or newer ones. Um, we'll do something like this, just a, a basic div. Again, you could always style this however you want. PHP, you say paginate comments links and believe it or not that will give you some basic pagina uh, pagination excuse me on your comments um, oh this can all be um, in fact I'll show you that now you can you can alter this into your settings if you go to WP admin and if we go under settings and we go under let's see discussion Yes, and you can see I've set it to break comments into uh, pages with three comments per page. And that's just so I can uh, show you the pagination when we're done with our script. But you could type, you know, 50, 100, 25, um, however many comments you want to hit before you break into your pagination is where you would enable this right here under your discussion settings. So let's get right back into our code. 
And after this, we're going to give it an else tag. Again, I'll try to keep this somewhat commented. So we'll say else, um, you know, if no comments so far, something generic like that. Now we're going to run another check here, and we're going to say PHP if open is equal to post comment status. Of course, we'll give it the colon, and we'll oops, sorry, we'll hit return here. And this is for, uh, let's say, you know, the comments are open, but there are no comments. We can just say, uh, you know, have your say. Okay, simple enough. We'll do some more PHP tags here. And we'll say else. And this would be if comments are closed. So, you know, comments currently closed. After that, we will end one of our if statements, or in both of our if statements, actually. And I'll bump one of these in so we can kind of keep track of what we're doing here. Okay, looking good so far. Let's scroll down and let's say. PHP if if open and again post comment status then we're going to do something so um, we can show the form here is pretty much is pretty much what we're doing so we'll scroll down and we'll say div ID respond okay and you'll notice we didn't have that div before and this is another one of those things that we need to have in here um, for our comments to be uh, threaded and replies to be able to show up we have to wrap our entire comment form in a div ID of respond and this is because the JavaScript that uh, WordPress is going to use to help us out with threading is expecting that ID of respond to wrap around the whole comment form so don't don't miss that part and now we'll just do the the title um, like leave a reply and this is kinda cool you can just do PHP comment form title and we'll just leave that to the default right now which uh, prints out leave a reply I believe okay next we need to add an I and a div and uh, some PHP to um, have the cancel reply link show up. So this would be if somebody clicked on uh, reply to this comment and then they decided, you know what, I don't want to um, reply to this comment anymore. I just want to post my own individual comment. So we'll give it a div ID of cancel comment reply. Close out our div. And, you know, just small tags is uh, what the codex uses so that's what we'll use and inside of uh, inside of the small tags we'll just say PHP cancel comment reply oops I'm sorry cancel comment reply link okay and that is what will give us the uh, cancel this reply and um, and cancel the the text box that will show up when they're trying to reply. Okay, and now still inside of our div ID of respond, we're going to say PHP if. Now we're going to say if get option. And inside of get option, we're going to say comment registration. and the variable user ID does not exist 
we'll do an if uh, colon and we'll say I'll try to keep this organized here uh, you must be logged into comment okay and then we'll say PHP else and now obviously um, we can display the actual form because now we know that um, that we we've already displayed that you must be logged into comment um, part because the comment registration is obviously set so now we're going to go ahead and display our form action in the beginning of our form so this will be the same as last time say form action equals PHP echo get option site URL and we'll do WP content oh I'm sorry uh, we just want to we want to do WP comments post PHP which is the file that handles our um, our comments that we submit and now we'll do a method of post and an ID of comment form okay now we'll scroll down and we'll give another PHP if and now we're going to check to see uh, if the user is logged in um, like w w you'll remember that we discussed last time um, if the admin is logged in like if I'm logged in as the administrator obviously I don't need to fill out my name and my email and my website because WordPress already knows all of this information so all that needs to be displayed is um, is the uh, the text area so we'll say if user ID and then we'll tell them that they're logged in you know we'll say uh, logged in as href php we'll say echo get option site URL and then we'll say after this we'll say WP admin whoops slash profile dot PHP close that off and inside of that we'll say PHP echo user identity close off our anchor tag and that'll be good for now so pretty much um, inform you know the user the uh, administrator that they're logged in and and who they're obviously logged in as and now we're gonna say you know if they're not logged in we're gonna display the input fields like normal so we'll say PHP else we'll go over and this is where we'll do all of our inputs again uh, I'll go ahead and end the if for that and uh, instead of typing all of this we can go ahead and save and I'm gonna go into my old uh, comments that I have saved and just copy um, the name the mail and the website from here because it's all the same information and I'll go back into that okay so underneath our else we will display our basic uh, input tags okay and we will end our if and here's another uh, next important step for our uh, WordPress 2.7 enabled comments we'll just start a basic div and inside of that we're gonna say PHP comment ID fields and this is gonna tell WordPress uh, where our comment ID fields are located and let them know uh, and let WordPress know um, of the ID, the ID fields and uh, how to how to thread the um, the comments that that are going to be displayed. But just remember, if you're wanting to thread comments, comment ID field is something that has to be displayed inside the form, like we just did. And now we're also going to add a um, 
a new hidden input type you can just follow along here input type equals hidden name equals redirect to value equals php echo comment oops I'm sorry no comment we're gonna do php echo html special characters which is C -A -C -H -A -R -S, server there should be an underscore there request URI okay and now we'll close off our input type and that is that moving right along we'll go ahead and save now and close out the old comments underneath that div we're going to go ahead and add our text area it's important now that our text area has an ID of comment. Um, this is also one of the many uh, things that we've gone over that, uh, that WordPress needs and able to thread the comments uh, correctly. So ID, comment, name, comment, and I, and I apologize if I'm typing a little slow here. I'm trying to read off of some of my notes as I obviously don't have all of this memorized. Um, I believe it was 50 that we had. Rose was 10. Okay, close off our text area. And that looks good. Okay, one last check we're going to give here. Um, after our text ID area, we'll remember how uh, in day 8 we did, we wanted to display to the user if they've posted a comment that. Um, comment moderation is enabled and that you know we've gotten we've got your comment but um, it's under moderation currently so there's no need to post again and check so we can just use a quick if statement for this okay we'll say PHP if get option comment excuse me, comment moderation equal to one then we'll do something, we'll uh, use the brackets here I, like, I guess I've been using uh, colons this whole time, sorry about that but just I'm just uh, using the bracket syntax for this since we're just going to display a small message I know someone's going to jump on me for mixing the brackets and the colons, I apologize um, and we'll just say comment moderation is enabled um, you know no need to resubmit any comments posted something simple like that just to let them know that uh, you know we've got it it's just under moderation and we are almost done let's continue on after our uh, last check there let's do another paragraph here now we need our submit button um, we can just do input type equals oops, text name equals submit ID equals submit and uh, value equals submit very simple stuff and you will remember lastly the, whole, the thing that fires all of this off PHP do underscore action first one will say comment form comment underscore form comma and we'll say post ID okay and we'll come down here end our form we need to end our if statements now and after the div we have one more if to end 
I think that's correct. Okay. So before we walk through this, there's still um, one more thing we need to do. And that's because WordPress uh, 2.7 uses the help of JavaScript to, um, to make the replying and the threading of the comments a little more user friendly. Like for instance, when we click on uh, reply to this comment, the text area box where they type is actually going to show up right underneath that user's comment, not at the bottom. So that way they can be looking at the comment they're replying to while typing um, their reply. So we need to call a JavaScript file here. And what we need to do is go into header.php. And first we need to add a little WP head hook here. And, um, and that's going to let um, plugins and other functions know um, that this is the head, um, the header of our theme file. And now right above that, we are just going to say, do a little if statement. We'll say PHP. Then if is singular. And, um, we can do this all in one line here. WP and Q script comment reply. And uh, if you're wondering why I didn't use any curly braces, that's just you know PHP shorthand. You could you know just do something like this if that makes you more comfortable. It's just as easy. So um, if this is a single singular page, then we're going to add the comment reply script, which is a WordPress um, script JavaScript file, um, to the header. That's pretty much what we're doing. Is we're calling the JavaScript file that we need if it's a singular um, article with comments. Okay, so um, I guess let's go ahead and see if that worked. Um, oh yeah, another thing. You're going to want to go into your settings, your discussion settings, before you try this out. And you're, wanna, you're gonna want to enable threaded um, or nested comments and how many levels deep you want. I've set it to three. And then go ahead and set break comments into pages with something really low so you can see that your comment pagination is working. And we'll just go to our site and we'll go to uh, you know Patty Mayonnaise story and awesome it worked um, just as we expected it to you can see reply to this comment reply to this comment our pagination is showing up um, pretty cool you can see I had in you know three comments per page so if I click one we'll come back over here and, and we'll see that you know the first comments um, so yeah, um, let's you know test it out, and we'll just reply to this comment and say, you know, hey, isn't isn't this cool? Okay, awesome. And you can see WordPress threaded it. It's not the prettiest thing ever. Um, the total comments amount has been updated. Uh, you can see leave a reply is showing up just as we expected it to. So um, before we go over the code, I want to give you. Uh, the best source you can find for um, WordPress 2.7 comments and threading is definitely uh, this page on the codex, which I'll link to below. And it pretty much goes through all of the um, code that you know we just went through, you know, minus a lot of the markup, and explains what's new in WordPress 2.7 compared to the old comments loop. So I really recommend you check out this link. Um, it says you know this article is heavily based on Otto's excellent. WordPress 2.7 comments enhancement post, which is another really um, nice art article by a guy named Otto that is a, a WordPress moderator on the forums as well. So I, uh, you know, I encourage you guys to check out these links that are also provided at the bottom, as the Codex is really your first place to look for any problems um, or any questions that you have. So to finish off the day, let's just you know kind of walk over our comments.php file and review what we've done. Um, at the top here, we've run a few security checks. You know, if the post is, um, if the password's required, or if they tried to load the page directly. Um, next, we went through our new WordPress 2.7 comments loop. We're no longer using the global comments variable. We're using um, the have posts function. Um, we're going through our loop with WP, um, WP list comments. We're using an array to pass it multiple arguments. Our reply text is um, reply to this comment. 
we used PHP comments number to you know display different things like be the first to comment or one comment or how many comments there are we used PHP paginate links underneath our um, and, and inside of our loop and underneath our actual comments to paginate our comments and we change that in the settings to three next we said um, you know if the comments were open but there was none of them so far we had a little display message or if they were closed a display message and then we moved on um, to the form so what was new in the form was the div ID of respond remember that all the forms now that need that are going to be uh, word point WordPress 2.7 um, threaded comment compatible need to have the entire comment form wrapped in a div ID of respond. Um, a few other things that we did differently here. Um, a different kind of input uh, hidden field here. And remember that we need to have the PHP comment ID fields here in order for the threaded comments to display properly. And you know lastly we, we kicked it all off with do action comment form post ID um, so don't forget to go to your header either and add WP head right above the ending closing head tag and then above that we wrote if this is a singular uh, article that we're gonna include the comment reply script that is needed for threading and um, replying our comments And I really shouldn't say needed it'll still work without JavaScript enabled but it makes it more user-friendly um, Let's like l let me show you what I'm talking about again. If we let's go to a different post here. If we scroll down and we click um, reply to this comment, you see how the text area box? It's hard to see since it's not there's not that many, but it actually changed and went directly below here instead of um, you know where its usual position would have been a little farther down. And then of course we can say click here to cancel reply and we cancel it and it kind of you know goes back to its regular form and if I was replying to a comment you know say way up here and there was more and I clicked you know reply it would be a lot more useful but you can see how cool um, the WordPress 2.7 comment package uh, was so I think that that is where we will leave off for today um, if you guys have any questions about this or if there's something that wasn't very clear to you make sure you let me know um, otherwise I will see you for day 10. I think we will move into the, um, the PSD in day 10. I'm going to be um, talking with Jeffrey more about that very shortly, but I know a lot of you are excited to get to that. So we still have plenty of more series to go. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying um, this as much as I am. And uh, as always, I encourage you to subscribe to the Theme Forest RSS feed. If you're enjoying the series, it really helps us out. And uh, it would really um, be a big favor to us if you could uh, subscribe. So I will catch you guys for day 10. Uh, thank you again to Dennis for the awesome wallpaper. And uh, happy WordPress coding and have a great day, guys.